Airmen from the 366 Fighter Wing, Mountain Home Air Force Base, Idaho, have come to Nellis Air Force Base, Nevada, to participate in Green Flag West. Green Flags focus on air-to-ground mission support and key communications between Air Force pilots and Army ground forces. In Green Flag West, airmen and soldiers team up to create a multi-domain force that is truly unmatched. For this exercise to work, planning is key to mission success. Captain Kyle Fiddle, 391st Fighter Squadron pilot, describes the challenges that these teams will focus on overcoming. When we try and integrate with the Army, and especially in these like large force type exercises, the biggest challenge is learning to uh, to effectively integrate the two forces and learning to speak the same language and effectively um, see what they need and give them what they need and help them realize what we can provide in those type of scenarios. Not only do JTACs work with Air Force pilots, Weapon Systems Officers, or WISOs, also hold a vital piece of this training exercise. While pilots focus on complex maneuvers, the WISOs are the ones fixing their sights on ground targets. Captain Alex Deer, 391st, Fighter Squadron, WISO, takes pride in providing close air support. I think it's really special. The Strike Eagle is the only dual-seater fighter we have in the Air Force. And that is where I feel like my job is most valued, is when we're doing CAS. A lot of times, uh, it can be the pilot taking the lead, you know, when we're doing air-to-air, -air, but air-to-ground is where I feel like I have a really strong impact um, taking the lead, if you will talking to the guys on the ground and making sure that their mission happens as well as our own. It takes pilots, WISOs, and JTACs working together during this exercise to prepare our service members for future contingency operations. Airman First Class Trevor Gordonier, Nellis Air Force Base, Nevada.